All right, what's up, YouTube? It's BFF Larry, and I'm coming to you with an update. On. Let's go down here. Let's turn on the light. Second, I have my car at the shop. It's all taken apart right now. All the amps are out. Running. Well, I'm gonna run one more run of zero gauge to the batteries because the one run, the I had two runs coming from the front to back, and one of the terminals got, I guess, the ring terminal. I didn't solder it real well and it came loose, and I don't feel like messing with this, so I just taped it off. And I'm just gonna run one run underneath the car and then a couple grounds to the frame, just you know, since I have extra wire laying around too. But uh, everything's out. I'm gonna cover this up. This is where the amps sit. I just have it pulled apart right now. Still, I think here's the other batteries. Those are the 490s, and then they're pretty decent batteries. But um, I have this one run of what? Like, I guess it goes to the it's stock stereo wiring. To one six by nine. So when I do, a, what's it called? Um, Iaska, or uh, I guess, yeah, Iaska. They, you know, you have to have your outside speakers. So I just did this. It works pretty well. But I have the front taken apart right now, and fusing is out. There's my charger, and then I have my vat. And that's how I was pulling amperage and checking if each line was okay. And if, every time I get like a battery or when I charge it, I put it on there to see if it's still pretty good or not. But um, here's the the new well, the old wall's torn out, and now it's a fourth order. C.J. Henson built the shell and did the design for the fourth. And I helped here and there, but he did most of the work. And his friend Jack also helped. He's pretty cool. And it was the three of us, and Derek was there. But he uh, he didn't stay for long. I only saw him a couple times, but all this work, this is by CJ. Like I put these tweeters up here because I didn't have nowhere else to put them, and it still needs some work. As you can see, but we used most of the space up, you know, all basically like every angle we could. And there's like no room. Like this literally like goes, you know, we just spray foamed it. It's got like an inch, not even like half an inch gap. And here's the port or the loading wall inside, and it still needs to be smoothed out. It's got a lot of work to be done, but. It still does, it plays nasty. Like, fourth orders are no joke. Like, compared to a flat wall, man, this thing's, it's so different. And then, I have, well, here, here's some other update. I took out my old voltmeter and bought a new one. And, I'm wiring it up, but it's not, you know, I'm gonna just let that chill for now. It's still, everything is dirty. And then glass windshields cla like cracked up, and I'll get that replaced soon. But here's a new voltmeter. It's pretty beefy compared to the old one, and it does amperage, but I'm not hooking it up. Uh, let's see. What else is here? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here's another update. Well, we. We did the tent on the back glass, and no more retarded peeling and stuff, but here's the side of the box. 
or a shell. And here's some spray from this was like an inch, not even an inch, like a quarter gap right here, but we filled it straight up so you know this is seal it. Make it look we, we can probably shave it, but I don't I don't know, it's no big deal. But we used like every inch we could, going all the way down. This is, that's how close we are to the wall. Like to the B pillar, that's not even, I don't know, it's so close. We just spray foamed every, you know, just to seal it up. But we used like everything in, behind the B pillar. And it's solid. I'll show you the other side real quick. Almost identical. Look at that. Here's a little for the I guess wait, what is this? This is for the tweeters. Look, I just wanted one of them plain. So we just ran wire and then had a loop. But See, there's like we use we tried using every you know all the angles we could. We didn't use the back where the rear deck's at because we even though we wouldn't have gained a lot and it probably would have weakened the box, so it is angled pretty good. Like it's it's probably coming like this. And then you know and then like an A like this way. But Here's the port. There's the loading wall. Still needs work done. A lot of bondo and see here's some kitty hair right here. And we still got a. It's all very top. You can't even get to it. It's we added another layer to make it even, but there's no. It's every. It's pushed up so far up. And. I don't know, everything's just used up in here. But, um, so here's some Bondo work. Is he inside? Well, we got, yeah, my exhaust is broke too. So we gotta weld up, weld it up, and that'll probably happen next week after I'll run the wire and then weld it. All right, that's all. All right, peace out, guys.